let's solve this tricky geometrical math question so we are asked to find the area of this square if the length of this side is 16 and the length of this side is 24. now we are going to start from what we are asked to do we are asked to find the area of this square and area of a square is length squared right so first of all our area is equal to length squared now let's let our L be equal to X. So the length of this square, let's call it X. So it means that here is X, here is X, here is X, and here is X as well. All right? Now, if we say that this is X, and from here to here is 16, it means that just this side, from here to here will be 16 minus X, right? So we have 16 minus X here. Now, this is a right angle. Yes, this is a right angle. Yeah, this is a right angle. You can see that. All right. Now, let us look at this particular one. If we say that from here to here is 24, it means that from here to here will be 24 minus X. So we have here as 24 minus X. Do you understand? Now, where am I going to? Where am I driving at? If you look at this, since this line and this line are perpendicular, that is... This is a straight line, this is a straight line. It means that two of them can never meet each other when you draw them. So they are parallel to each other. Once this line is parallel to this other, it means that these two triangles has formed similar triangles. Okay? Now, that means we have similar triangles. This is the first one. This is the first one. We have 16 minus X here, and this is X. And this is the second one. Okay? We have... 24 minus x here and this is our x for the second triangle now where am i driving at if these two triangles are similar then the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal it means that we can express their ratio this way so if we say 1 16 minus x divided by x that is 16 minus x divided by x should be equal to x divided by this x divided by 24 minus x okay so at this point let us cross multiply okay before that click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell if this is the first time you have seen this lovely channel and this lovely face as well <laughs> yes okay and thank you so much for joining give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video if you're a returning viewer a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it okay now look at this let us cross multiply now we have x times x with x squared remember that we are trying to get the value of x so that we can find our area okay since our length is x now x squared is equal to 16 minus x multiplied by 24 minus x now if we expand this we have x squared is equal to 16 times 24 right yeah then 16 times minus x which is minus 16x then minus x times 24 is minus 24x and minus x times minus x is plus x squared so we have x squared is equal to 16 multiplied by 24 then minus 16x minus 24x we give us minus 40x right so we have minus 40x plus x squared now if we collect like terms let's subtract x squared from both sides of this equation so we have x squared minus x squared is equal to 16 multiplied by 24 minus 40x plus x squared minus x squared so you can see that x squared will cancel x squared and x squared minus x squared also from here is zero okay so what we have now is i think we have used this okay so what we have now is x minus x squared minus x squared is zero so we have zero is equal to 16 multiplied by 24 minus 40x okay now let's bring this 40x to this side to remove the negative sign so we add 40x to both sides okay so 0 plus 40x 
is equal to this one, this side plus 40x. So this we cancel this. So we have 0 plus 40x will give us 40x is equal to 16 multiplied by 24. Now let's divide both sides. Divide both sides by 40. Okay? So if we do that, we will have 40x divided by 40 is equal to 16 multiplied by 24 divided by 40. Now 40 we divide 40, we have x is equal to, now let's divide by 4. When 4 divides 16, we have 4. Divide 40, we have 10. When 2 divides 4, we have 2. Divide this, we have 5. So what we have is 2 times 24, which is 48, divided by 5, which is equal to, 48 divided by 5 will give us 9, 9 remainder 3. The 3 add 0, 30, divided by 5, we have 6. So it means that our x is 9.6. Amazing, right? Now, the question says we should find the area of this particular portion. Okay? Now, the area of this portion is, remember that the area is L squared. That means area is, remember that our L is X, X squared. So it means that area is 6.9 squared. Right? I mean 9.6 squared, sorry. It's 9.6 squared. All right. Now, to square this, let's first of this means 9.6 multiplied by 9.6. Now, let's ignore the decimal point and solve this as 96 multiplied by itself. That is 96 squared. Then we'll put our decimal point letter. Okay? So, 96 squared, 6 squared is 36. 9 squared is 81. I'm going to apply a mass trick here. If you need to see in details how I solve this, check the mass tricks on my channel, okay? I have a playlist, a playlist for it. All right, so we have 8136. That is 6 squared is 36. 9 squared is 81. Now, 9 times 6 is 54. 54 times 2 is 108. So we add it here. Okay, we have 6, 11 carry 1, we have 2, we have 9. Now remember that we have two decimal, two decimal places here, so 1, 2. So this becomes our answer, square meters, alright? So the area of this shaded portion is 92.16 square meters. Thank you so much for watching, see you in my next video, bye!